Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can use RSS feeds within our Power Automate. So there are many scenarios where we would like to consume some RSS feed and have the data extracted into SharePoint lists items. So there could be a scenario where like uh, your company is already hosting their public site and probably if you're building one company's internet portal or some, some other thing, then probably you may want to use that public RSS feed of your company site in your SharePoint list to have the data displayed somewhere else in a different form format. So this example we are going to take today. So I am going to create one Power Automate and that sh should be scheduled because I would like to run my this Power Automate daily to fetch the, to get the RSS feed, to read the RSS feed and put that into SharePoint list. So I'm naming that as uh, news RSS feed flow and it will run daily I would say because I am creating this, that as a scheduler and now I would be going for a public feed so you can find many other feeds which are available so right now I am using this uh, news google feed and uh, specifically I am targeting as a language to English and the location is India so this parameter you can pass so this is just sample this is an example I am using for consuming or using this RSS feed you can have your own company's RSS feed or if you would like to specifically consume some news websites RSS feed then you can just directly go so as an example Times of India is also having their own RSS feed so you can just google that out and have that RSS feed in place so I'm going to use this one so you can see like this feed is having multiple items and I have this title of that news link and description so I am going to use this feed so in this flow the next action I would be using is RSS so RSS feed we have this RSS uh, connector and in the end of the action we can just say list all RSS feed items so this is pretty straightforward just like we need to know like what parameter we should be passing to this feed so I'll just copy this URL so that I can paste in RSS feed URL and since so you can just decide on like uh, since when uh, the data you would like to fetch so I'm just opening this and leaving this as is and the choose property will be published date and when I go to next now I would like to create item inside my SharePoint list so that it can contain or it can have the all the data which is there in the RSS feed so I'll just make that connection and select my list name that is company's news so probably it's giving you the company's news feed then you can put that into community's feed and the title so I'll be from the dynamic content I'll be getting this feed title feed link so I'll just put that feed title and it automatically binded that up to apply to each because I'm getting uh, multiple items for this feed under description I would like to fetch and set this uh, summary as in description so if you look at my this list which is company news it's having new subject description you are published on so this description I have changed that to this uh, rich text field so that whatever HTML is being updated over there it should start displaying it so images links and whatever styling is there so I'm just uh, in the URL I'm just choosing the primary feed link URL so probably you may use this URL by by directly linking the site to the news Google and in the published on we can just use this field published on so we have done it now we can save it and as I said like it will be running every day to fetch the latest Google news so for time being I can just run it manually just to see what data we are getting and how this is being processed in the SharePoint list so it queried that and uh, copying the item over here in my list so I'll just go to my list okay so it has started showing up the items so new subject is this 
then description i said like uh, whatever html would be there then it will change that html news feed is direct url to that particular news and published on is the date so based on the uh, news feed uh, this column so the feeds which you are getting you can decide over what uh, mapping should be there within your sharepoint list so i hope like it's a simple topic but important topic uh, whenever you would like to consume any RSS feed. So that's it for today's video. Thank you.